Hi, this is Whitney with Policy Pack Software, and in this video, we're going to learn how to use Policy Pack Magic to take real group policy and preferences and security settings and then be able to deploy them using not group policies. So if you're using SCCM or CASE or some other systems management that you know and love, you can absolutely do that using Policy Pack Magic. So to start off with, I've created a GPO that I'm just calling GP Settings. So I'm going to edit this. And the first thing I want to do is work with some admin templates because I really want to kill off the control panel in my endpoints. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on the policy pack node and I'm going to go to admin templates manager and I'm going to choose to add a new policy here. And it's actually already highlighted over control panel. So I'm going to go and choose prohibit access and enable that just like you would if you were doing regular group policy here and I'm going to tell it OK. So let's close this down. And so now we've created that directive, but we're going to need to export it so we can then eventually wrap it up into an MSI along with some other settings and deploy that to our uh, machine. So I'm going to uh, right click here. I'm going to export as XML and we're just going to call it no control panel and save that. There we go. Just dropped it right on the desktop there. And so the next, the next things we're going to do, the group policy preferences and the uh, security settings are a little bit different. So instead of creating stuff within policy pack, the policy pack node, what I've actually done is I've done a little pre pro on this and I have gone and created a shortcut over on the computer side. And it's just a little policy pack shortcut. that's going to take you to policypack.com and the icon is a little butterfly. So I've already created that in preferences and what policy pack now allows me to do is when I I go to preferences manager I'm not actually creating anything in the preferences manager I'm just using policy pack to export the settings that I already have up here in the standard preferences area so I'm going to show wizard and this reminds you also that you're not creating anything new you're just using the existing items so I'll click next and it have found my shortcut so I do want to I do want to do that so I'll click next again I can change the name of it if I want to um, and I can also uh, add item level targeting if I wanted to do that as well um, I'm actually just gonna leave everything as it is and click next and let's give it a location I'm just gonna drop it right on the desktop again and there we go should pop up right there the last thing we're going to do is the security settings. So I've actually already created a security setting where I rename the guest account. Let's uh, let's drill down here and look at that local policy security options. So. Uh, I've chosen to rename the guest account just policy pack guest and so since I've already created that like with the preferences manager I'm gonna do kind of the same thing where I go I choose security settings and we'll do the wizard business again now this one actually has a few policy types that are not supported so just please make note of that but the rest of them are supported and in good shape so I'll click next and indeed local policy security options uh, I would like to include it in the export thank you next this is where I could put ILT on there if I wanted to do item level targeting and filter it in for a specific security group or whatnot but I'm gonna leave it as is and let's go ahead and throw this down um, on the desktop and I'm just gonna call it rename guest there we go and we do want to create it and moving right along here we go all right so we have our XML that we've just created so we have our kill the control panel we have a shortcut to deploy and we're renaming the guest account and in order to wrap all this up in an MSI what we're going to do is we need to use the policy pack exporter tool and it installs alongside the admin console MSI so when I uh, open up my start menu sometimes it's up at the top under most used or sometimes recently installed if not just scroll down find policy pack and you You'll find it right here so this actually does a few different things but right now we want to create a new MSI installer so we'll click next and we're going to add existing files here so let's do that and just let me get back to the desktop here and I can do all of these at once actually so I can choose the shortcuts rename guest and the no control panel all at once so there we go um, the no control panel is is currently installed for users and groups I actually want to just put all three of them on the computer side and at the target of course will be all users so I would click next 
we can change the product name, which is what shows up in, say, uninstall a program or something like that. Uh, just call it group policy settings. And next, next. And just keep, keep with that convention, group policy settings. We'll throw it right on the desktop. There we go, and we're finished up. Now, we have this MSI that has our settings in it, but before I talk about deployment or any of that, let's go over and look at the settings as they are ungoverned. So we'll come over to my endpoint here, and um, one important thing I do want to point out is that uh, the policy pack client side extension is installed on this machine. So you'll have to have that on your machine in order to be able to uh, have your, your settings work. So let's get rid of this. Uh, you can see I can clearly get into the control panel because uh, I was able to do the uninstall a program thing. So there we go. I can still get into control panel. There's no butterfly shortcut on here that I can see. And uh, if we go to, let's see, GP edit, then rename the guest account. It's still called guest. So we're going to hop over here. And for a minute, I need you to use your imagination. I'm going to install this manually. But if you were using SCCM or Case or Landesk or whatever, um, you would be able to do this and it would all occur silently. So using our imaginations, I'm just going to drop that in my shared folder here. And I'm going to hop back over to my endpoint. Let's go. Let me go grab my, my shared file here and go over here and just install this real quick. Again, this would be done silently in the background if you were using uh, management software. Um, I'm just doing it manually for this video. And here we are. We have the uh, butterfly icon that popped up. If we double click it, it's going to take us to policypack.com, just like we said. And if I'm trying to get back into that control panel, I'm not going to be able to do it. It's been restricted. And finally, let me just run this as an admin so we can check out that guest account. All right, and let's drill down to the Windows settings, security settings local policy, security options, and what do you know, policy pack guest. So we were able to deploy, well, create and deploy real group policy. We did the preferences, we did security settings, and we wrapped all that up and we exported that as an XML. We wrapped it all up as an MSI and then deployed it using whatever software you prefer. If that's interesting to you, get in touch with us and we'll be happy to get you started with a free trial right away. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. To find out more about how Netrix Policy Pack can simplify modern desktop security and management, go to netrix.com slash netrixpolicypack.